Whoa, what's happening? Welcome to NE1 Comics. We got a special House of X upon request. Two of my high school buddies, shout out to Ruben and Waylon. We love you. It's been a while, bro. You're still here inside. Here we go. Dog Life Chris, House of X. This is the issue six, the last part of the miniseries. Feels kind of thick, it's got some girth. So here we go. Never been busted open. House of X. Is what we have perfect? No. What is? But it's a good start. A good one. Professor X. Krakoa, one month ago. Moria's No Space Professor X Secret Cradle. This is that one blind step into the abyss, my friend, our proverbial leap of faith. Once we do this, there will be no turning back. Total commitment is required here, so we are agreed. Of course, of course, yes, very well, Charles. <laughs> I love to say, Charles. Whatever has been there between us over the years, all our disagreements, all our anger at the other's relentless ideology and unyielding persistence. Today, that ends. That ends today. You have my word, Charles. Humans of the planet Earth, I am mutant Charles Xavier, and I bring you this message of hope. He looks awesome, by the way. In the coming days, you will learn of several far-reached pharmaceutical breakthroughs that have never been discovered by mutant scientists. Oh, that have been discovered. These drugs extend human life, heal disease of the mind, and will prevent or cure most of all maladies. Influenza, Alzheimer's, ALS, many cancers, gone overnight. These drugs will make life on the planet better. Remarkably so. All this we have made for you. In the past, there would have been a gift, something freely given by me to you because I believe it would create harmony between the two peoples. That was it, my dream, harmony. But you have taught me a harsh lesson. Lesson? That, that dream was a lie. You see, I... You see, all I ever wanted was peace between humans and mutants. All I ever wanted was to love you and for you to love us. That's what I want too, Charles. Oh, what? We're not getting into that, whatever. We wanted to save you, and we did many times. But in return, all you did was stand by while evil men killed our children. Over 16 million of them. So. There will be no gifts, for you have not earned it. We will, however, let you pay for it. In return, for, in return for, those, for two things, we have provided you with a better means to have a better life, one without pain or suffering. I want to be able to hold it and read it at the same time. suffering and full of hope, and it will cost you so little. First, you must accept the island of Kratoa, Krakoa, as the national state of all mutants on this planet. We will happily go through the same processes, any new form, formed nation with the UN, but there is an expectation that our sovereignty will be recognized. Second, all mutants by birth can claim Krakowian citizenship. With that citizenship, we expect periods of amnesty so that those who have been singled out as criminals or punished or imprisoned by humans can overcome man's bias against mutants. Geico. Are you serious? Get out of my life. For this day, mutants will be judged by mutant laws, not man's. These 
are our simple demands, and they are not negotiable. In return for making our lives better, we will do the same for you. We are the future, an evolutionary inevitability, the Earth's true inheritors. You closed your eyes last night, believing this world would be yours forever. That was your dream, and like mine, it was a lie. Here is the new truth. While you were asleep, the world changed. Cool little non-graphics page. But it is like a little coding involved. So graphics are there, but you know. I'm biased. Jonathan Hickman. Yeah. Pepe Laraz. Shout out, bro. Yeah. Okay, more coding. This is not natural. Unnatural. Should be here. We should have been there two days ago. Dang it. Krakoa, now. Welcome, and please be seated. Krakoa. It's like a tree man. Family, friends, and allies. Whenever you're ready, Douglas, release the hounds, big guy. And so, it appears, our first bit of business is the oldest kind on the planet. Judgment. Somebody better start talking, or this thing is gonna get real red, real quick-like. What is it? Don't mess with Sabretooth. He killed Wolverine. This, this is the establishment of our nation, ours. And it would have be it, and it, and, and I would have it be one of laws, but not of the old laws of man, the new laws of mutants, which is why we have called the first meeting of the council. Stop it, son. I cannot say that everyone here best represents the ideas of what any society should be based on, but... Be that as it may, it falls on us to establish the laws of this land. Is he talking about me? If he is, then I don't care. I won't be ignored. I have ideas. Nobody puts sinister in the corner. Nobody. Speak to me again, and you, and you do so at your own peril. All right, tough guy. Okay, just a, just a suggestion, but mutants on mutant violence. Killing a mutant is against the law. Throw this man in mutant jail. <laughs> Shut up. How can it be a crime to kill someone who cannot be killed? How will anyone, any of you, know that you are fit and worthy if you are not tested? You cannot be serious, Storm says. Oh, I'm sure he is, but if we're going to argue about the highest of ideals, if the goal is greatness in purpose, and if our undertaking is to have any worth, then I think the opposite would be true. The highest crime would be killing someone who cannot come back. It would be a mutant killing a human. She's right. And when they come for us, which they will, we aren't going to do everything we can to defend ourselves, Huh, police? Huh? That's an old argument of it is murder, it, it is done in defense of the nation, and not what we are talking about. We will have to deal with that at some point, yes, of course, but this is not that Gene. Or, this is not that Gene is right. I also see no fault in it. Does anyone have an argue with, argument otherwise? Apocalypse? I won't belabor a point that means nothing to me. 
as man himself does. Anyone else? No? Then we can agree. It will become a law of Krakoa that no mutant may take a human life. Oh, I see how it is. You're going to make an example out of me. Well, that goes both ways, meat. I'm going to cut you up to little pieces. Quiet! Little pieces, huh? And... Uh, little pieces, huh? And eat it. And eat... She says, quiet! Again. He's frothing at the mouth. Someone get this guy a rabies shot. I have to say, it, it's the drool that really brings the whole outfit together. This is fun. What's next? Somebody shock me? Prop property rights, wealth, currency. A few of the things man clearly got right. I have quite a few. I... Excuse me. Small point that needs to be made. Krakoa is alive. Not a place or a biome or a person, a fauna, not flora. So I'd be careful how hard you want to lean into the whole property rights thing. Of course, Douglas. But the idea of home comes with possessions baked in it, doesn't it? Perhaps if you want to own a piece, it has to be out there in the world. No one, no one has said we have to run from it. No one has said we have to run from it. And none of that touches any number of broader economic concerns, but we are not going to settle those today anyways. They have complications. Still, the boy raises a good point. The place, it is an Eden to us. Life giver, nurturing. It lives and through it, so do we. If there is a mutant ground that is sacred and sanctuarious, it is this. And there is to be, there is honor to be had in lifting it up. Well said, Paris, who I don't know. On this, we can also agree, yes? Good. Is that Professor? He's like young. Then it, it's a good start. But if we think we are not going to accomplish economic or... Excuse me, Mystique. But before you're done, we have yet to hear from the righteous among us. Surely the mutants who... Surely the mutant who has faith in one greater than you, Charles, has some fundamentals to share. Foundation, foundational, something foundational to share. Tell us, Kurt, where is your foolish providence in all this? Where is your God's wisdom? And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. It's obvious, isn't it, Raven? We need to take more. We need to make more mutants. Thank you, Kurt. I couldn't agree more. Is what we have perfect? No. What is? But it's a good start and a good one. But it's a start and a good one. As of today, from now until the end of time, these are the first laws of our nation. Halfway mark. That was Staples. That's why I said that. More, make more mutants. Murder no man. Respect the sacred lands. The third law of mutants. The first, second, and third laws. Krakoa. Of Krakoa. And with those laws decided, we must decide what to do with you, Mr. Creed, who has broken them. A.K.A. Sabertooth. <laughs> do we believe that giving you one last chance benefits our society? Or are we better served by making an example out of you that no one is above mutant law? I gave you restrictions. I gave you strict instructions when I sent you to your mission, and you did not listen. You made your bed, Creed. Now, let your sleeping in it serve a higher purpose. Agreed. Apocalypse. He agrees on anyone's death, of course. So long. Pack light. <laughs> Safe travels to a faraway land. Guilty. Just get it over with. Mystique.
It shames me, but I agree. Yes, this is the sentence long past due. Oh, absolutely. I don't care. Fine. Yes. You think I'm going to take this? I'm going to make this list, and now you're on it, along with your kids, and then with their kids, and I will make your line extinct. <sighs> He's drooling. He's not drooling. He was like... <laughs> That's what he did. Are you listening to me, Douglas? Bad news. It looks like leniency is out the window. I guess you know what to do. What the? You have been found guilty, and so you will be sentenced. Let me go. Let me... The problem, however, with your sentencing for you, for your crimes, is that we cannot send you back to the world. And as we tolerate no prison here on Krakoa, that leaves us with very few choices. Especially since capital s solutions would bring you into resurrection protocols. Instead, this will be your fate. Stasis, deep inside Krakoa, alive but immobile, aware but unable to act. And for how long? Forever, Creed. For that is how long mutants' justice lasts. No! How could you do this? Perhaps one day, a time might come when you have the opportunity to redeem yourself. But that time has now and until is not now. And until it is, you are exiled. <laughs> it's distasteful, I know, this business of running a nation. I pray that we never get to use it again, that we never grow cold from it, that we never learn to love it. They're celebrating this fool's death. When you die, we're going to have a celebration, bruh. It has been that when a parent has a child, they never get a good night's rest again. Kind of. Well, I have had millions of children, and I haven't slept in decades. I may never sleep again. And now, oh, now the same may be true of you. But they will. In soft fields of lush green, staring at the stars of dreams of a future where they hold those stars in their hands. This is what we will give them. Yeah, Wolverine, buddy. Bring on the six. <laughs> A home, a nation, and someday, a future. The world? I believe in what we are doing. I believe the world will be better for it. And that is reason enough to carry on this burden. In fact, it's more than that. It's a reason to celebrate it. Just look at what we have made for ourselves. Where is Krakoa? Krakoa is in two places? More coding. That was the end? Just look at what you have made. That was the end. That was the end. That was very riveting. I'm, I have to go get the other five. This is issue six. So that was the end. I'm going to put like whatever spoiler alert anyways i'm dog life chris and this was another comic book reading any one comic stay tuned next time because my buddy is gonna be so happy that i read this episode of only miles morales can save us from the multiverse spider verse number one coming soon ah, holla we out the sucker <laughs>